all started was back in July when uh, the uh, Hamden uh, bin Mohammed Heritage Centre, which is formed up by the Crown Prince of, of, of Dubai, held out for, for local uh, applicants to do a 700 kilometre camel trek across the UAE's empty quarter. And I applied, and uh, along with about three to 400 other people. And, uh, and from there, you, you basically get inducted into the, into the, into the training process, and which, is a, which is a three and a half month uh, commitment. And, uh, and at the end, uh, there was uh, about 24 of us that were finally selected. One, one thing that affected me, certainly, was weight. Uh, obviously, the, the, the camels, uh, um, they, they have different categories of, of, of what weight they can carry. Uh, you know, for, so for myself, not only was it learning the, 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 the syllabus, if you like, and the, and the experience of the camel, but it was also, for me, going on a crash diet. And, uh, and by the time I left for the, uh, left for the trek, um, I'd lost 17 and a half kilos uh, in the tr during the training period. And then actually on the trek itself, I lost three and a half kilos. So it's a great weight loss program. Very often you turn up for training and you don't actually know what's, what you're gonna do. You don't know whether you're gonna go for a long ride, a short ride, a fast ride, a slow ride. Uh, and, and it's kind of, what the training does is it prepares you for not really knowing what's coming ahead, but whatever comes ahead, you, 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 you can take it on and, and, and get it done. Um, up at 5.30, um, break, down your, break down your tent, fold your sleeping bag, get your kit packed, go as first light, get to the camel, sort out your camel, get, get all his stuff sorted out, his saddle, get yourself sorted out, have, have, some, have some breakfast, get on your camel and ride with the group. So, it's, so it's a, the procedure in the morning starts at 5.30 in the morning and then, and then you literally uh, then go through, yes, you have a short, you know, short break every couple of hours riding, but there were, I think there's only two or three occasions where we arrived at, the, at a campsite before uh, at last light. So most of the time you, arrive, you, you start riding you know, um, straight after breakfast and then you, you're, you've got 50 kilometers to cover each day. You've got to average that in order to meet the, meet the, meet, get the finish line. And then, uh, and, and then you, you literally ride until you reach the, reach the 50K or the campsite, uh, the, the allocated campsite. The dunes that we were going across were, were massive. They're the biggest dunes in the UAE. And so you're looking at some, some dunes that were 300 meters in, in height. And, uh, and what I didn't realize is that there were, uh, for instance, there were uh, two or three camels that were, as we would go towards the dunes in the early days, these big dunes, that would get spooked. And I suddenly realized that these camels had probably never seen dunes this big either. So they were like, whoa, you know, what's, what's, with, the, what's, with, what's with this thing that I've got to now climb? And the camels, when, when they're climbing, they're very determined, sometimes even dropping to their knees. And then, you know, literally you jump off and then you're pulling the camel up the dune. And then obviously when you've got, you, you know, the shape of the dunes are normally, you know, quite, can be shallow on one side because of the wind and then sharp on the other. So, so you're dealing with one or the other. Uh, and, um, and so when you're, when you're going downhill, often you've got you jump off and then zigzag the camel down the dune in order so that he doesn't fall over or hurt himself. I knew from previous experience the most important element, especially at the beginning, is to try and avoid any niggling little type of injury. So, you know, I would, I would wear, you know, I would put tape on where I, where I thought I might get blister, where I might get blisters, because when you, if you, if you pick up some sort of injury, then that's gonna, that's just gonna make things difficult for you as you go along. And, and, and when you're going through this sort of, when you're going through some sort of arduous uh, adventure like this, if you get, if you get a small thing that, that starts to, um, hurt you or annoy you, you, you can magnify it out so many times, so that's all you think about. So I knew that, I knew that, that first thing that prevented it. So that if anybody gets you know, hurt, injured or ill, there's a safety car, there's a medic, 
that's, that's in, you know, in, in trail or, or going to meet you at the next stop point. Um, so that if there's any problems, people can people can get that. Now, the most I, I guess the most challenging uh, thing for me, as as probably for anyone, was the the first few days. You know, because obviously you're in a new environment. You're trying to figure out, um, you know, where you need to be, where when you need to be there. You know, the the steepness of the of the of the dunes was something we hadn't. You know, really experienced before. Yes, we've done June work around here, but there's nothing, obviously, on that scale. The most special thing for me out of the whole uh, the whole uh, experience was actually it shocked me. It was actually the relationship that I developed with my camel, mm -hmm. and I would I would put it more more akin to a a, a relationship that a human has with a dog than a human has with a horse. The, 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 after three or four days, you know, the camel and I completely gelled together. We got to know each other. We got to trust each other. Um, and uh, even to the point where he would see me approaching in the morning and he'd start to, start to dance around with excitement because I was coming to say hello and put the, put, the, put the shirt on him and everything. Coming across the finish line at, uh, at Expo, um, having covered the 640 kilometers, um, he, he didn't miss a beat throughout. 